August 2019 Apocalypse Box. Let's check it out. Okay, so we got August Apocalypse Box, and uh, I already have opened this up and kind of checked out some of the items. Uh, curiosity got the better of me, but uh, unique little box here. Uh, we'll start out here. We have their pretty much their the card and everything, but uh, no theme this month. They kind of uh, read into it a little bit and pretty much you know just Creek decided just to fill a box full of a lot of different unique and uh, stuff he considers awesome gear and you know kind of went with it and then, yeah it is what it is. Unfold this just so I can have something to read over. All right, we'll start out with we got a life straw, and uh, you know I've seen a lot of different straws of these types. You know, survival drinking water straws and everything. And you know they're not bad. The only thing I've never been crazy about life straws they feel like they're kind of chintzier than most i guess you could say and uh you know just to get read over the quick specs on it it's saying you know filter pore size 0.2 microns lifetime capacity 4,000 liter 1,000 gallon weights 57 grams two ounces uh removes 99.999 percent of protozoa giardia lamblia beaver fever and cryptosporidium parvum removes 99.999999 percent of bacteria is retria coli campi lobacter vibro col cholaria i'm probably just butchering these words but pseudomonos or rugnos shigella and salmonella at least i could say one of those but uh yeah not a bad item like i said life straw uh, next up, we'll go with, here. they got the, it's kind of a homemade product. Uh, it's a French Voyager felling tomahawk head. But, uh, yeah, it definitely, you can tell, they got it duct taped on the end for safety, I imagine, for packaging reasons. But, we'll try and get this duct tape off there. Totally understand, oh, I could see it damaging the the packing in this was kind of loose so i could see it shifting around you know and causing causing some issues but uh get this opened up here man one thing this ain't no cheapy duct tape all right there we go it's just a bare metal it's uh hand forged and uh yeah it's got a little bit of an edge on it, but yeah, you can tell it's it's definitely, you know, hand forged and everything. Not bad. It's a neat little item, you know. And I do believe this is, yeah, I do believe this is the, you know, like most of POC boxes, they have the skill of the month, you know, skills challenge. And the skill challenge for this month is actually put a handle on this. And uh, you can post, uh, how you did and everything and the winner will receive a custom leather tomahawk sheet for the Shankle Homestead Leatherworks. So yeah, that's pretty cool. They actually got the, a link to directions to tell you how to do it and everything. So that's a neat little item. I like that. All right, we have another item in here. And we have HLP Premium Synthetic Firearm Oil. 5, 5 ml of it prevents rust no odor penetrates non-toxic it's got a low and high heat tolerance and reduces friction and they're saying they're saying the reason they provided this is to put on the tomahawk tomahawk head so yeah that's that's neat so i wasn't used to seeing a firearms item in there i didn't realize it was fire firearms oil so yeah that's pretty neat that's not bad and we got lights all lantern flashlight there we go 
and it is a USB yeah it's rechargeable USB it's got high and low and check it out here it's 13 inch long cable USB charging cable charging indicator light on off mode switch it's got a removable clip and it looks like it pops open yep pops open and turns into a lantern it's either a flashlight or a lantern so we'll have to check that out next we got the orange screw ground anchor so that's this item and it's pretty much a a unique it's really lightweight but it's a unique ground anchor grass firm soils tarp tie downs tent stakes landscaping small dogs and camping it's kind of a screw in it's got different options and it looks like it's got an easy way you know the hook lashing to but neat little item I kind of wish there was more than one though you know I mean that's I could you know using it for your dog I can understand that you know give yourself a, a tie point in the ground and everything but chances are you know with a baka box you're going to be using this with some type of shelter or you know I mean so I having more than one of these would have been nice i don't know the price on these you know i imagine it can't be that much but yeah all right and we have a harvest sickle and that would be this item and this is a unique item i it reminds me of a, a pocket box a while back they did the, the pack the tobacco hawk and it reminds me of that it's like a smaller version of it i don't know if you can tell but it's got the it's got a sharp edge here which kind of sharp on the front side but then it also has this inside radius here sharp too and it's got a, it's solid construction this is all metal here and everything so i imagine it would be for either hacking or if you had to grab hold and you could hook and cut you know kind of like harvesting you know plants and stuff like that wild edibles maybe but yeah i mean it's a neat little tool it's not that heavy either for being as robust as it is it's not that heavy and it comes with just a nice little plastic carry that way it actually protects you know all the sharp points and everything so you can actually pack it away so i like that that's really neat that's a nice item and then we have what is that? I did not see this item in here. Screw pop big mini light holder. Screw pop mini light holder. So I guess I'm assuming there ain't no pictures on it or anything. The world's most clippable keychain tools from screw pop. But pretty much that's what it is. Um, it's just got the car burner on there. And I imagine a big lighter would. Let me, I got one in my pocket. Hold on one second here. Man, that's what it's saying. Bic, Bic Mini. Ah, okay. Yeah, so regular size Bic will not fit in there. So it's for the smaller mini size to fit in there. So, I mean okay I wish that was actually for a full size but man not a bad item and as far as that goes we got two cards in here one is a advertisement for SOS uh, how to survive on which just started up with their new season on the weather channel which uh, Creek does which is actually a really good um, <coughs> survival show if you like watching those type of survival shows actually it's actually a pretty good show it's turned into one of my you know it's set on my dvr i'll put it to you like that way uh, i like it so and then uh it's got a a plug here i guess you say advertisement for i don't even know how to say that u-i-t-w-a-a-i-e-n bushcraft gathering u t y e n bushcraft gathering and it gives a uh 
sample on there and that's pretty much it that's it the rest of it's just you know a little bit of packing so i'm oh, not a bad box i guess you could say i i can't really complain about it um this like i said i wish wish there was more than just one there you know i guess you know introduce you to a new product and let you get your uh i don't know your taste buds wet for it whether you like it or not and i guess you buy more but yeah like i said it is what it is uh is the value there mm. yeah i mean you figure this is a good 15 20 dollar i mean i like it you know what i mean but it's not you can get a, a tomahawk you know a, I think a cold steel one, something like that for like $30 with a handle. But you know, so is it, are we up around the $60 mark? What we pay for the box? You know, I don't know. I, I really don't know. You figure it's 10, 10, 5, 5. Actually, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? This one's got me a little, little perplexed. I can't really sit here and say a lot of these items I've never seen before. So I can't really put a price on it. You know, I've seen items similar to them. I know the prices of those. I'd say we're real close to the value of the box, to the, you know, how much we paid for the box. But I can't really say if we've, if we got the value for it. I'm kind of up in the air on this one. What do you guys think? So uh, let me know. And uh, hopefully if everything worked out right, uh, you noticed I wasn't jamming things in front of the camera and everything. I'm trying a little new method, or trying to upgrade the channel a little bit and uh, uh, showing you the products as I'm going through. And if everything went right, it turned out pretty good. Hopefully I won't know until I start editing this. But uh, if you like it, Comment below. Let me know. You like the new way, or what do you think? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll catch you later. See ya.